Hey y'all, this is uh, Lady T41 coming in at you. Um, this video is going to be um, not only a, a, a video on my experience on um, my trip to Great Lakes, Illinois to um, watch my son graduate from Naval Boot Camp, but it's also going to be an informatory video for um, those of you uh, of you out there, moms and dads and aunts and uncles who are going to go see your sailor um, graduate um, who are looking for um, transportation alternatives besides renting cars and um, catching cabs and um, wanting to get um, public transportation information. So anyway, um, if you're looking for alternative uh, uh, means of transportation while you're in Chicago, getting from Chicago to Great Lakes and from Great Lakes back to Chicago to the airport, um, this info, this video is really going to help you out. I wish I had a video or someone do a video like this. That way it would have made my planning a lot easier. But anyway, um, so that's what this video is going to be about is my um, trip uh, to Chicago, Illinois and the Great Lakes area to watch my son, um, Sailor Brooks, uh, graduate from Naval Boot Camp. Okay, so um, first things first. For those of you who have not gone to um, uh, the graduation ceremony for um, your graduating sailor, it is an experience. They put on a ceremony. Okay, you hear me? Um, from the, the the band playing, um, um, the uh, RTC um the rifle uh, uh, ceremony or display they do, their marching ceremony, um, the the speeches that the admirals and generals give, um, the sailors, the, how they look. I mean, you, wait till you see your, your kids. They're, they look completely different. I mean, they look definitely more grown up. Um, the way they behave, the way they carry themselves, you'll see will be a lot different. Um, and if some of you or some of you moms out there wondered, is my baby going to be different? They're the same. It's just they're you know, when they're in public, they're careful about how they, you know, behave. Um, the only thing I think that you might have a problem with is if your sailor um, has a girlfriend or fiance um, or vice versa, um, the girlfriend or fiance or maybe your sailor's a girl and her, her boyfriend, they have to be trained on how how they're supposed to behave when they're in public with their sailors as well um, because you know they're real excited to see their their boyfriends and stuff and you know like for my for instance my son's girlfriend she was so excited to see Christian she was crying and you know she's just being very affectionate with them because obviously she hasn't seen him in a while um, but I, as his mom, was concerned because I know the RTDCs are, they're watching, they're in plain, they don't wear their uniforms. I'm sure Christian will be able to identify one in plain clothes, but I don't know who's, who may be a, uh, a petty officer that may be out there watching, you know, they're watching for those recruits to make mistakes so they can ding them for it. So I didn't want Christian getting into any trouble. So when we were out at the malls and stuff, um, and I noticed that she was being overly affectionate with him. I was like, look, you need to be careful, you know, because I don't want Christian getting in trouble for some dumb stuff. You know what I mean? Because, you know, she may have grabbed him around his waist or she's, you know what I mean? And he's not saying anything. So I was like, Christian, you need to train her. I mean, you know, you're not only in the Navy. If she's going to be with you, you know, she's in the Navy as well to sort of speak because you know there's a certain way that she has to behave when she's with you in public you know you she can't hold his right hand his his right hand has to be free to salute admirals and petty officers at all times so she can't hold his right hand she can hold his left arm you know she can you know like he can offer his left arm to her and she can hold it but as far as the public um displays of affection and stuff they have to be careful with that because there's a certain level of, of, of respect and, and rules they have to follow when they're in public. Now when they're not in public and behind closed doors they can do whatever they want to do. But I just didn't want Christian get getting in trouble his first day out 
because of some dumb stuff. Because when she goes home, you know, he's going to pay for whatever she does. And I just didn't want that to happen. So I mentioned it. She got a little upset. I apologize to her for it. But anyway, you guys, when you get there to your sailor and stuff and you're taking along his significant other, whatever, just kind of school her on her or him, because you, your sailor might be a girl and she has her boyfriend, school them that, you know, there's a certain way while they're in public, there's a certain way that they're supposed to behave because if they get out of line or go outside the borders of conduct, your sailor is going to pay for that, whether it be them holding them back for two weeks, I can't see that happening, but there's no telling what they'll do to them. So, you know what I mean? FYI on that. You've been warned. Okay, so, now... Oh, let me show you my pictures my, of my baby boo. Oh, that's another thing. When I went to check in, you know, when you go in, you have to show your ID and they ask you, you know, what ship, you know, what's the sailor's name, what division, what ship they're on. Well, I went, I got up to the, to the petty officer and he asked me, um, what this, what my sailor's name was and his ship and division. And so I said, um, I'm, it's a uh, Christian Brooks ship 11, um, division three, three, two. The petty officer stops what he's doing, looks up from his page and goes, he's no longer Christian. He's Sailor Brooks. And I was like, okay. I mean, you know, I'm a civilian. I don't know. I mean, I know him by the name I gave him. You know what I mean? So I said, okay. But y'all, as I'm walking to my seat, I'm sitting there thinking, huh, I conceived him. I carried him in my womb for nine months. Went through 20 plus hours of agonizing labor to deliver him. And made many, many sacrifices and struggles to make sure that he had a good life. His 19 years so far being on this planet. So I'm thinking to myself, he's Sailor Brooks to you. But he's Christian Honey Bunny Boo Boo to me. Okay? I'm just saying. Any of you Sailor Moms out there agree with me? let me know I'm just saying I'm thinking okay so anyway when I got to Christian I was like I don't know what to call you do I just call you Sailor Brooks or can I call you Christian he hugs me and goes mom you can call me whatever you want to call me so I was like okay good anyway so just FYI when you go in there and he, they ask you for the name say under you know Sailor Brooks Christian just like that and you should be okay and they won't get offended or anything so anyway so um get it if you're coming from o'hare airport and you have some extra time on your hands and um you're you've decided that you don't want to drive like me and isabella we decided that we didn't want to drive in chicago because number one we've never been there before we don't know our way around i'm horrible with directions i don't know if she is either but she was cool with not wanting to rent a car but um now coming to think about it with all the money you spend with the taxi cabs and all that stuff and the shuttles and stuff it probably at the end of the day would have been cheaper to rent a car but we didn't know that so anyway and we didn't you know you may not want to drive at all so anyway i'm going to give you my experience and how to's on how to get around and stuff and what to catch and when and how um to get to the base using public transportation and cabs and all that stuff so anyway, so before I get into all of that, let me show you the pictures we got. Okay, I know there's a glare, but here's my sailor, Sailor Brooks. Can you see it? Let's see if I can bring it closer. I know if I put it straight up, you're gonna get the glare from the glass, but here's a picture of my sailor. Isn't he handsome? Look at my, look at my baby boo boo. Oh, Christian. Oh, look at him. Go handsome. That's my baby right there. And then here's his class photo. I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but I'll probably easier to go. Oh, I can't go from the other way. There's my baby right there. That's him can't see he looked like he's like I'm so ready to look the expression on my son's face is like I am so ready to go home or to get up out of here some of the guys enjoyed boot camp um, and some didn't Christian was like I'm so ready to get up out of here you have no idea so but anyway 
yeah so that's some other things we have to look forward to is some you know some of the pictures and stuff and uh they pay for it so don't worry about oh my gosh i i didn't bring any i didn't bring any extra money so anyway they basically pay for the pictures um and don't worry mom when you see this video don't worry um when you watch this video you just need to let me know do you want a, a eight by ten of christian or do you want this five by seven of christian that's what i need to know because if you want the five by seven i'll just put this in the mail this just like this into the mail to you but if you want an eight by ten of it because i have another copy that need, i don't know why i don't know why christian didn't make two or buy two eight by tens one for me and one for isabella because i know for a fact isabella wanted an eight by ten but i was like I, I just straight up told her i'm so sorry i'm gonna have to make a copy for you because he only bought one eight by ten and um yeah that's coming home with me i'm so sorry honey i'll i'll, I'll get a copy to you i promise isabella I'm going to get you a copy. So anyway, mom, when you watch this video, do you want the 8x10 or can I just drop this 5x7 in the mail to you? So anyway, let me know. So anyway, uh, moms and dads of uh, sailors that are going to be graduating in the near future, um, those are some of the treats you have to look forward to. I'm sure your sailors are going to buy pictures and stuff. So yeah. Yay. Um, let's see. Now on to how to get there if you're on a fixed income on a fixed budget and you just cannot afford to rent a car um, and you don't want to pay the high cost of catching shuttles to and from the airport um, there is ways to get where you have to go it's, it's, you're just gonna have to pay for it with a little time and it'll probably cost you um, as far as when you're using public transportation um, about uh, I say about 10 bucks and I'll tell you what the prices are so you can be ready for it okay so um, Isabella and I when we flew into um, Chicago um, our flight landed at 5 15 in the morning okay and we decided when we got there that okay well we'll just catch um, a shuttle from the airport to to the base because we didn't want to waste time we wanted to, you know we knew the gates open at 6 45 we wanted to be the first ones in line to get into the hall so we could get our seats and stuff and be ready for the ceremony now the ceremony begins they start they start everything around 8 45 but it really the actual actual graduation ceremony begins at at, at uh, nine o'clock but like the band and stuff gets the plan um around 8 45 so that you know it's you know it's ready it's ready to go but anyway um so we took a shuttle we went ahead and took a shuttle which okay our plane landed at 5 15 we um, got our luggage which we took our luggage on the plane well i had to pick up my luggage which it only took a few minutes by the time i got down to terminal two where uh baggage claim was my my luggage was right there um, and then the shuttle I had, we had scheduled a six o'clock shuttle and for the two of us to get there um, uh, it was fifty dollars fifty dollars and eighty cents so twenty five forty for the both of us to get from O'Hare to to the base now the only problem with that is the gentleman who dropped us off dropped us off at the visit visitor center at the naval base Okay. The problem with that is the visitor center at the naval base is located um, at the part of the uh, of the base where the um, sailors who are staying for A school in Great Lakes that's where they're housed. The graduation ceremony is in a completely different opposite part of the base. So if you get dropped off at the visitor center at the Naval Academy like we did, get ready for a walk, and I mean a long walk okay so don't let the airport or shuttle or whatever taxi cab because there's a, those cars there's a long line i forget the name of the street but you'll see all the cars i mean we got there at 6 45 and the line for the cars were like uh, i mean at, at least two miles long i mean it was outrageous i mean we were happy we had actually caught a shuttle in because i mean if we had a drove 
I mean, getting there at six, you know, between six and seven o'clock didn't matter because everybody's going to have the same idea to get there extra early and it's going to take you forever to get into the parking area or through the gate. So anyway, point I'm trying to make is don't let the cab, the cab taxi driver or the uh, airport shuttle driver drop you off at the visitor center at the Naval uh, base because it's it's the wrong area if you do you're gonna have to do a bunch of walking so have him let you off right where you near gate 8 and, and most of the taxi cab drivers know where gate 8 is so if he has to let you off I mean you got to kind of cross the street to get where you need to get let him do that now if you decide that you know what I don't want to pay $25 for a shuttle I actually have extra time especially if your flight comes in at 5 o'clock in the morning and the ceremony doesn't begin till 9 you got you know almost three and a half almost four hours to get uh, where you're going so if you're planning on taking public transportation I'm gonna tell you exactly exactly what to do and I'm gonna give you um, the phone number um, the phone numbers to call so that you can um, if something is just happening you need to talk to someone I'll give you the number for the uh, Chicago Transit Authority because they can help you or walk you through what to do so here we go okay Ooh, my glasses are my glasses are dirty hold on let's see Sorry, y'all, but these. Oh, I can't wait to buy me some good glasses. Let me see. Hmm. Some good coffee. Okay. So from the airport. Okay. So from the airport. You okay? So if you have a flight that's coming in around five o'clock, you need to be there by five. Um, anything past five fifteen, you might as well five fifteen five thirty. You might as well just go on and um catch a cab or a shuttle um, like I told you the shuttle cost for two people cost me fifty dollars and eighty cents and of course um, Isabella paid for half of that later but yeah but for one person it's twenty five dollars and forty four uh, twenty five forty one way so if you want to book a round trip there just to get a shuttle to and from Great Lakes it'll cost you fifty eighty round trip okay which isn't really that bad but if you're going to rely on public transportation, if you know if you're really on a fixed budget, you know, FYI, it's expensive. I mean, to go to these graduations and stuff. I mean, my airline ticket costs three eighty one forty. So just to go there for basically overnight, basically, okay. So we flew out of Seattle at eleven fifty p.m. No, no, no. We flew out at eleven fifty p.m. We flew out at eight forty. Our flight left at eight. No, our flight left at eight fifteen Thursday night, and we flew from Seattle to Phoenix, Arizona, which got us in Phoenix, Arizona at eleven o five, and then we boarded another U.S. Airways flight from Phoenix at eleven fifty nine, which got us into Chicago at um, five fifteen in the morning. Remember, there's like these. We lose we lose a couple hours going there. So that's why. Um, there's so many hours missing there because we lose two hours. I thought we lost three hours, but we actually only lost two hours going there. Anyway, and y'all, our flight from Seattle to uh, Phoenix, Arizona, OMG, I thought we were going to die. I was like, oh my God, Isabella, Chris is going to lose his mom and his girl in one swap. Oh my goodness, that the turbulence on that plane was just horrible. Oh my God, I thought I was going to die. <gasps> Oh, and then the dude next to me, I, 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 that plane was shaking so much, lights going on and off, and I mean, I was so scared, I grabbed the guy, his name was Tim, really nice guy, I don't know his last name, but I just grabbed his hand, I didn't know what else to do, because I was freaking out, and he was like, it's okay, he's like, calm down, he's like, it's okay, calm down, it's alright, and then his partner who happened, um, Tim, no, Tim is actually the Marine, and his partner, his uh, brother-in-law, I think, is in the Army, uh, he said, he said, hey, if it's your time to go, it's your time to go. I was like, I ain't trying to hear all that. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Tim, for letting me hold your hand. And even when it started up again, he just, he immediately offered up his hand to me. So, anyway, thanks, Tim, for trying to keep me calm and stuff. You're awesome, dude. 
Anyway, um, yeah, so yeah, me and Isabel thought we was going to die uh, on our way to Chicago to see Christian graduate. I hope I don't ever, ever experience that again. And it was funny because Tim's like, is this the first time you've ever flown? I'm like, no, I fly all the time. I go, this is the first time I'm on a flight where I've experienced this type of trouble. where I felt like we were going to fly. I mean, it, the plane just took a no, like, it. I don't know if it took a nose dive, but we, it's like we, like, I can't explain it. It was just. Uh, me and Isabella were just really happy to get off that plane. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. And then, um, oh, side note, American Airlines. Okay, on our flight back, we took American Airlines. OMG. American Airlines is the bomb. Okay, we watched the info. We watched the new Spider-Man movie. And then after that movie, we watched um, a whole bunch of uh, NBC sitcoms. Like, the new normal was really good. Um... We watched The Office, and then there was another new one that we watched. But, um, yeah, I was like, hey, it's the first plane I've been on where I got to watch an in-flight movie. I heard they exist. So, anyway, now it, when I'm flying but to and fro from California from now on, instead of booking Southwest as I normally book, I think I might book me an uh, American Airlines flight because, um, I mean, if I can get a movie, I'll get a movie. You know what I mean? So, anyway, well, just a nice note on that. So, anyway... So I digress back to what I said I was doing. My bad. Um, okay, so th that's what we so that's what we do. We caught a shuttle um, to the graduation, and then uh, Saturday when we checked out to checked out of the hotel. Um, my plan was since we had so many hours um before our flight was going to depart from chicago going back to seattle i figured well there's no sesame pan you know you know another for saturday to catch a shuttle it was like 4850 i was like i don't want to pay 4850 to catch a shuttle from from great lakes back to the airport and especially when i got you know 10 hours before my flight takes off i said why don't i just figure out how to you know figure out how to get back to the airport using public transportation since I have all this time and it'll give me an opportunity to see the city which was fan freaking tastic it's actually a lot better than I was expecting it to be real calm real relaxing and um, I'm glad I made the decision to do it now my soon to be daughter-in-law decided because she wanted to spend time with as much time as she could with Christian before his flight took off to uh, Florida um, she decided to catch a shuttle back to the airport which she said it cost her about 50 bucks to get back to the airport turns out Christian wasn't at O'Hare Chicago O'Hare airport he went to Midway <laughs> which is 45 minutes from the base so if she had decided to catch a cab from O'Hare she would have been it would she would have been in that cab for almost about an hour hour and 25 minutes hour and a half to get to Midway to Christian so yeah, that was a bummer. So confirm with your sailor before you make the trip to the airport to go sit with him or her. Make sure uh, and reconfirm exactly which ho which hotel, which airport they're going to be flying out from. Because you would hate to go to O'Hare and then get there and find out that they're at Midway. Which is, you know what I mean? Going to suck having to drive an hour and a half. To get to them at Midway. So anyway, so poor Isabella caught a, a paid fifty bucks to catch a, a, a shuttle back to the airport, and Christian wasn't even at O'Hare Airport. So I, I really felt bad for her. I was like, oh man. Anyway, so and I had normally I would have went with her, but because. I didn't want to be sitting at the airport for 10 hours and I definitely didn't want to be sitting there all that time watching him and her hug and kiss on each other. I just didn't want to, I, I just, you know, that third wheel feeling and then you watching your kid hug and kiss, you know, romantically hug and kiss on somebody else. It's like, you know what I mean? I don't know about you, but I just, I can't, especially if they're not married yet. It's just, I can't. <laughs> Please let me know if maybe am I weird or am I the only parent who just has difficulty watching that? They were in the hotel and they were kissing each other when he was saying goodbye. I was like, oh, I was like, hurry up! And I'm like, oh, anyway, nothing against you, Isabella. You know I love you. Wait till you have children and your daughter or your son gets to hugging and kissing and stuff on their girlfriend or boyfriend or fiance or whatever, and you'll see what I'm saying. You'll be like, 
Yeah, I don't want to hear or see it. It'd be just like Christian don't want, wouldn't want to see me hugging and kissing or being romantic with some of you know what I mean. He doesn't mind me being. He would mind me doing that, but he don't want to watch me doing it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like that. Anyway, I digress yet again. It's like get to the point, all right? I know. I'm sorry. My bad. Be glad I'm willing to share. If someone had to share this with me, can you see my notes? Dang, it's a white piece of paper. Can't see my hand. Oh, yeah, there. I guess if you hold it like that. Yeah, I got all these notes for you guys. So when you go, you won't have to go through all the rigmarole I went through. Okay. So, from the airport, if your flight gets in at 5 o'clock and you choose to take public transportation to get to Great Lakes, you can do it. It's just going to take you a few hours to do it. Okay, so you have to get to the Kiss and Fly terminal at Terminal Two to get the um, to get the uh, the AT the ATS shuttle that'll take you to. Okay, so go to Terminal Two and you're gonna look for the Kiss and Fly terminal where you get the ATS shuttle. You're gonna get on the shuttle. You know it's the little shuttle that drives people from all the parking lots, picks up all the people from the parking lots, and then drops them off at whatever terminal their flights are departing from. Yeah, you're gonna get on the Kiss and Fly, Kiss and Fly shuttle at terminal number two. You'll board that at 5:56 a.m. I'm only telling you this if you if you if you if you have a 5 a.m. Um, arrival. If your plane gets in about 5 o'clock, ours got in at 5.15, so I knew if I wanted to catch public transportation, I would have to be at the Kiss and Fly Terminal at 5.56 to get on that ATS shuttle. Okay, so the ATS shuttle is going to drop you off. You need to get off at um, the north end of parking lot E. So when it gets to, you see the shuttle stopping, it's like three or four stops. Okay, and you're going to look for the, um, the parking lot E. You're going to get off at the north end of parking lot E. Okay, so once you get off the shuttle, you're going to go down the stairs, and right in front of you, there should be some buses lined up. You're going to get on the, uh, the Pace Bus 250. Now, you're going to be on the Pace Bus 250 for about almost an hour. Okay, it's a long ride, so sit back, relax. And when you get on the bus, tell them that you need to get off at the Evingston, Evingston and Davis uh, 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 purple line stop because tell him you need to you're trying to catch the Union Pacific North train outbound to Great Lakes he'll know exactly where to drop you off at so yeah I know where the Evanston Davies stop is I'll let you know when we get there so just tell him that's where you're going to the Evanston and Davis um, purple line bus stop okay so you'll be on the bus for an hour so just take that time to look around you know see the look enjoy the scenery and stuff and yeah so that'll get you to the Davis and Evanston or Evanston and Davis purple line at 657 okay so then once you get off the bus you're gonna walk through the terminal you're gonna walk in and out the terminal and then you're gonna see this doorway or this little walk path then you're going to go up the stairs and you'll be on the, the deck to catch the metro train. You need to go, you need to get on the metro train, which is at the Union Pacific North train. Go up the stairs, get on the metro train going north. And my notes say, take metro train at 657 at Union Pacific North West. Take the Union Pacific North train outbound to Great Lakes, Illinois. You understand what I just said? So get off the at, get off the bus at the Evanston and Davis bus station on the Purple Line. Walk. You're gonna walk through in and out of a terminal. Terminal. You're not gonna stay in the terminal where you take the other metro train train inbound to the city. You're gonna go straight through it and then you're gonna see the path and you'll see the stairs for the metro train. You need to get on the side that says northbound, not southbound. If you get on the southbound metro train, you're going into downtown Chicago. You're going the wrong direction. You need to get on the northbound uh, Union Pacific train metro train going to Great Lakes, okay? Now, once you're on the train, um, the conductor's going to come around and he's going to ask you, do you want a weekend or daily pass? 
If you're going to take public transportation back to the O'Hare Airport, then go ahead and get the weekend pass. It's $7.50. If you're only planning on going the one way into Great Lakes, then just buy the, the daily, which is $5.50. Um, I ended up not having to pay at all because when he came up to me, I didn't know. I was like, weekend or daily? weekend or daily pass I was like I don't know so I just turned to the dude sitting next to me I was like what should I um, I'm not coming back so what should I get and as the dude was answering me the conductor just turned and walked away so and he never came back so I didn't have to pay at all so my trip to get um, from <laughs> from Great Lakes back to Chicago only cost me uh, well the cab from the hotel to the Great Lakes Metro station cost me three dollars to get the cab and then it cost it didn't cost me anything to ride the train because he walked away from me and then it cost me two dollars and 25 cents on the bus so five dollars and fifty cents it cost me to get from great lakes to o'hare airport okay so if you're trying to save some money okay five dollars and fifty cents i mean come on now come on so if i had to pay for that ticket it would it would have cost me like Five fifty, so I would have ended up paying about ten, ten, eleven dollars total if I had to pay for the train ride. Anyway, once on the train northbound, the Union Pacific northbound train to Great Lakes, you're going to be on that train for about forty minutes, forty-five minutes. Okay, so if you board that train at six fifty-seven, that's going to get you to the Great Lakes Metro train station at seven forty-four. Okay, at 7.44, okay, your graduation is not going to start, the ceremony thing aren't even going to start jumping off to like 8.45, and then the actual ceremony with the sailors, walk, come, all of them coming in, will come in at 9. So you have an hour and 15 minutes from the time you get off the train to get into the, uh, into the um, hall where they have the ceremony. Okay, so um, once you get off the train, you walk through their little station, it's really cute, it's got a, in fact, you know what, if I were you, instead of buying, getting into the ceremony and getting in that long old line to get you some coffee and some treats, once you get off the train, they have a little coffee shop right there. You can get you some coffee, lattes, all kinds of treat, any kind of treat you can think of, even sandwiches and stuff. Get your snacks there, and then as soon as you come out of the, the terminal at Great Lakes, you're going to look left, and the first thing you're going to see is, across the street, is you're going to see a big F-16 a fighter jet fighter jet and then of course you'll see all the cars and the taxi cabs and stuff trying to come into the parking lot at gate 8 to get into the ceremony so basically all you is is you get you come off the train you can you cross the street and then you just walk around to gate 8 which is right there it'll take you not even five minutes to get there have your ID out you walk through the the military uh, personnel checks your ID okay you to come in and then you just kind of loop around to the auditorium so it won't take you at, at long at all um, for the time you get off at the metro station so anyway if you have questions in regards to the the directions that I just gave you like if I didn't make any sense this is the number that you call for the Chicago Transit Authority their number is 888-968-7200 Again, that's 888-968-7282. Okay. And then if you have questions about about the O'Hare Airport, like say we went to, they, what I called them and they asked me what, what um, um, airline I was coming in on, I told them I was coming in on. Uh, US Airways and so they told me okay from terminal 2 you need you need to get to terminal 2 this blah 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 so if you have questions if you need to talk to someone at the airport if you need customer service at the airport their number is 773-686-2200 again that's 773-686-2200 Two two. So you, there you go. You got the airport information not line, and you got the Chicago Transit Authority line. So they can give you more direct information than I can. But there you go. That's what I had. And then um, taxi cabs that you drive uh, while you're in Great Lakes. What I do with that? We use the Gunnery Flash Cab. 
And it's like from 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 uh, the Naval Base where the graduation was. We stayed at the Naval Lodge. You guys, the Naval Lodge is a very nice hotel. I wasn't expecting it to be as nice as I thought. Gosh, we're only paying $65 to stay here at night. I, I really wasn't expecting it to be that nice. The rooms are very nice. They also, In the rooms, they also have um, microwave, refrigerator, has a little, you know, coffinette type thing. Um, the rooms are very clean, granite countertops, bathrooms are spacious and nice. Um, the lobby was a nice size. Oh, if you want to drop your luggage off, say you do decide to take public transportation um, and you don't want to cart your luggage into the base with you, um, um, just catch a cab. Right As soon as you come off the station, cross the street, there's cabs right there and just say, hey, I'm stay just tell them, I'm staying at the Naval Lodge. Can you please drive me to the Naval Lodge so I can um, drop off my bags? Because you can't check in until after three. So just say, hey, can you take me over there real quick and then zoom me right back over here? They can do, they can do that and it's only three dollars each way. So that's what we did. We had them. What, once we got, what we did was we caught the when we caught the shuttle there. We asked him to drive us to the hotel first so we could drop off our luggage. And then when he dropped us off, he dropped us back off at the business center on the A school side of the naval base, which is the wrong side to be on. So anyway. So yeah, we use the Gunnery Flash Cab and their phone number, if you just want to write it down so you can just call them um, when you need a ride, it's um, 847-471-4348. That's 847-471-4348. Um, and you get discounts. And the reason why it's so cheap, you know, just tell me with the Navy, uh, graduation and you'll get a discount so and also that you get a discount through the airport shuttle the airport express shuttle if you tell them you're here for the Navy graduation you'll also get a discount on your rates rates there but yeah so anyway I hope this video was informative I hope hope it helps you if you have any questions um, please uh, uh, inbox me let me know and I can reiterate what I've already told you if I wasn't making any sense or if I was rambling on um, I'll be more than happy to help you because um, especially if you've never been there before you know getting around is a process and stuff and so I just I know a lot of us are on a budget I was on a budget so have, having to spend th almost $400 for an airline ticket for one night hotel stay paying for shuttle and stuff you know that's expensive so Anyway, I hope this helped you guys. And until the next video, thanks for watching. Peace out. Bye.